party is currently within a lizard folk dungeon. And uh, these are the other sect of lizard folk that worship Sessinek and want to summon demons and stuff. And uh, these lizard folk are doing a demon summoning ritual and they've had a lot of practice shots and after this they'll be done and ready to, you know, go up to the king and be like, okay, you can summon your avatar now. But in order to do that, they have to bloody this whole bay full of blood water and they have a machine to do all this stuff for them and they have these little trails that run along the dungeon floor and they got to follow them back to the, you know, Ritual room where there's draining a guy blood. But I got a ton of people to join the party out of the blue. Um, and I needed to stick him somewhere, so I stuck him behind a magic door into a room and everything. That was originally going to be a, a treasure room with a mimic and a bunch of blood-drained bodies. And the next door would be the final boss room. Which was this cool encounter with um, a lizard folk with a trident and then summoning demons every round. Low-level demons, quasits and stuff. But I, there were so many characters getting introduced, I needed a buff before the final boss fight. Because you know I throw immediately joining into the game, first time playing D&D, into their boss fight. So I introduced a mini boss. I introduced a whole room for a gibbering mouther. Now the backstory that I inserted into here is these characters are like tagalongs to these higher level characters that came in on a mission completely irrelevant to everything in the campaign. All they are here for is they are aberration hunters, alien hunters. They got hired by this crazy scientist wizard guy who's, you know, a, a knowledge guy and can scry. And he's like, this, this, um, this nothic, this damn nothic, you need to go and kill it. And so they take a bunch of people with them and go into this random dungeon because that's just, they're just dungeon hunters, you know? And, um, they're okay. Okay, the nothic's in the next room. Everyone stay here. Let the big boys take care of this. They go into a room. They don't hear any, the, you know, level of the party don't hear anything. And then one of them bursts out of the room screaming and dying. And is just like, board up the wall, don't go in there, there's a monster. And that's the Gibbering Mouther. So how the heck did a Gibbering Mouther get into a demon summoning ritual from lizard folk? Nothic liked to go where magic stuff is happening. So as they were having, you know, kind of, uh, our, our, our rituals aren't working. A Nothic shows up and is like, Hey guys, I can help you get that ritual working in no time. And he interferes with the ritual, and obviously they start pumping out demons and sending them to do other stuff. And then he tweaks with it, and instead of summoning a demon, they accidentally summon a gibbering mouther from who knows where. You know, magic ritual gone wrong. And uh, it eventually gets kind of led into this big barrier hallway, and the Nothic just kind of, you know, holds it in there. And he's like, okay, we got locked out of that room. And then a bunch of adventurers walk in, the gibbering mouther just, like, eats them all up. So then the party shows up, and they open the door, and they're in this room. And they start hearing the gibbering. So there's the... It's backwards because of my mirroring on the camera, I think. Um, so there's the room. And I have it set up so that it's... You know, I don't think this party could kill both a Nothic and a gibbering mouther, but there's the Nothic in the room. And I'll probably have it be, like, scared, like... You know, give up after they kill them out of there. But the idea is that there are four mirrors. You know, there's one at the top, one at the bottom, one on the side, one on the side. And each mirror is one, two, three, four. And each mirror, when you look into it, instead of seeing your reflection, you see the other mirror. So the Nothic is spying on them from window four, which sees into window one, which sees into window two, which sees into window three, which sees into window four. And Nothic uses their ability to uh, detect secrets by making eye contact with people through the win through the mirror, it's like this weird like little thing that's like kind of so that the room isn't just a mini boss. There's also a puzzle element, um, and so the gibbering mouther will come around and this way and then fight the party here, um, and the nothic is up here just watching and being a little creep and like. Nyeh. Um, so I I'm kind of debuffing the mouther's attacks a bit, like just kind of get it not killing all of them. But I did something special for the Mouther. I recorded some audio files that I think you'll be interested in. I'm going to upload them in an unlisted video and share them to you very soon. Because I love it. Yeah, yeah, yeah.